Can you get unlimited content forever? The answer is yes. Today's video is all about getting you information that people are asking for forever. Join me. Before we jump into the content today, I just want to send a big warmest shout out to cute cats in Nepal. But it is so relevant that today's video is all about Google and what people are asking for. Because I was thinking, I wonder where is Nepal? So I searched for where is Nepal and I was like, wow, I did not even know that Nepal was in Asia. So a big shout out to you cute cats. One of our community members, I appreciate the time that you spend on the channel and the feedback that you give. So let's jump into our content. Today's video is about give, giving you, if you're a business owner, the tool that you can use to answer your customers' questions. If you're a content creator, the tool that you can use to answer your customers' questions whether it is on your social media platform or it is on um, your website. If you use this tool, you should be cool with content forever, okay, while it is active. So the tool's name is answerthepublic.com. So you could just Google answerthepublic.com and click on the link that's there and you land on this website. So today I'm going to show you how to use it um, effectively by using three um, steps rather or three ways that you can use the answerthepublic.com tool effectively for your business or your content creation. So if, for example, we are content creators and we are creating content for cute cats and he's wondering, I wonder what are people asking when it comes to cats so how you would use the tool is you're going to type a word or two and then it does say for best results use two one or two words for best results so we're gonna go cats and we're going to go to the bottom of the page and click there to change the country that you would like the tool to extract the information from Google for you. So say um, our community member in Nepal, he wants to know people in Nepal, what do they ask for when it comes to cats? Then you change the country and you click on search. What the tool then does, it extracts information for you. And please take note that it's very important that you use this tool in a, if, if you're searching for information per day, you are allowed three searches per day. So on the free version, there is a pro version where you pay an amount and then you can have unlimited searches. But if you're using the, the free version, use, this, use it this way. The first option that it gives you, it gives you a vis visualization and it gives you an option to save the image of the information that has been extracted on your behalf from Google. So I'm suggesting you could either download a CSV file or you could save an image. So what then it, what it, what it then does, it generates an image for you and then you download the image and you save it on your file where you, stay, where you store your information so that whenever you're looking for information in future, you can just go and get it from there. So that's visualization number one that's option one and the option one it gives you the can are why will who when it comes to cats so you can um then think i'm creating content for cats will cats eat you then you can create a video or content if you're on social media or where cats like to be touched or can cats eat chocolate? So your job is to now go and research on that information and then share the information on social media. So it's using all of this to give you content of the information. 
And if you want to dig deeper, say for example, you want to dig deeper on the way cats like to be touched and you're thinking you want to create content on that or you want to create a video on that or food. Can cats eat dog food? So before you start researching, you will go and answer a specific question that people are asking for on Google. Then you can just click on the link and then you're able to research more information on that topic and then you are spot on with the topic that you're sharing whether it's on a youtube video or a social media come from knowledge you are like a, an sme because you've researched one other thing you get to view related searches that people search on google based on that one line that was given to you by um, answerpublic.com so where do cats like to be petted where do kids like to be petted the most? And there's extra additional information where people have searched with regards to the topic that you've searched for. If you scroll down, you get to see prepositions. And prepositions are all about cats again with for, without, with, near. Same principle as above. And you can also again click to research some more and you can view other relatable or related searches that people have searched on google which will then put you in such a sweet spot you know that you could never run out of content if you use this tool effectively and the last section is comparison i love comparisons comparisons are versus and if you're a youtuber you would know versus videos are awesome People like to um, get options. Cats versus pickles game. And this is what people are searching for. So you, you don't need to come up with content yourself because this is what people are searching for. People are searching cats versus dogs. I suppose this is somebody who would like to adopt a cat um, or a dog. They want to know which one is better. And you can click on it, research some more and create more content. Don't forget to download and save the image for yourself because you get three searches per day i hope this video has added value if it has please smash the like button and yes don't forget to subscribe i will see you on the next video